Hi and welcome back to my channel. We are at that antique store and this is part three. I do like this. It's, I'm not sure if it's a mirror. It's $9.99. This is a Barbie paper doll set. I was looking for the tag because paper dolls can go pretty well, especially a Barbie one. They got $10 on it. $25 on the set of those crocheted little framed pictures. I like that little tree. It's $5. I'm not sure what it was. And that looks like a handmade piece. Looks like it was made from a carpet. I like this lamp. It was $40. So cute. Cute little turtle. The turtle was $9. I love that metal lunchbox. I'm trying to show you the tag on this one. $45 on that. A bright orange bowl, $44. $45 on the dish. I like that lion little planter. It's $22. Really cute. $25 on that hobnail brown piece. I've never seen it in the brown. $10, and that was just the duck and stone piece. I'm not sure if maybe it went with something else originally. $42 on this. It says it's a ceramic vase with a ball on the top, so I'm not sure if maybe it was like a, just a decoration piece or something actually used to go in there. Those are those happy little birds. The brown one was 18 and the blue one was 18. And that one didn't have a price. $19 on that little Santa in the chimney. $25 for the four cups, and those cups were not matching. There was a blue one in there. I love those mushroom cookie jars and canisters are so cute. 
$3.50 on this little metal tin and it did have ornaments on the inside. I did leave them behind because they had a really strong smell of like a like a perfume smell but the perfume wasn't um, very nice. <laughs> $24 on the, the balls up there, probably ornaments, all these little jewelry pieces and the brooches. These are all in a locked container. I like that hummingbird. That was really pretty. They have another one down there. And this booth has more of the butterflies and the spider or the tarantula. Eight dollars on the Kansas State bobblehead. I do really like this red decanter, and it had the topper. It was sixty nine dollars. So that says forty nine. And it looks like you get the beer cans and the stand. I'm confused unless it's just all of those beer cans for $69. I'm not sure. None of the cans were individually marked, so I'm assuming that's what that meant. I do like this Santa and Mrs. Claus, but I did not see a tag on this one. Very cute. $36 on this, but it was broken. One of those vintage Christmas trees. A goofy ornament. And a Donald was in there, and they were both $8 a piece. So those are these Anna Lee. And this one was eleven fifty. It looks like he might have went with something else. Or maybe he was just a shelf setter. And there was another one. That one had a tag on it. And that one was $12, I guess because it had the original tag. Another Annalie dowel back there. $4.50 on the little golden books back there. And golden books on eBay don't go for very much. Not unless you lot them. Eleven fifty on the little snowman. Now I do sell Boyd's Bears pretty fast, but not at that price. eight dollars a piece on those blue glasses um they didn't have any marking on them so i don't know what they were or who made them fifteen dollars a piece on those dolls two dollars on that owl etched glass This is like a little football booth or sports. The jerseys were three fifty, just the jersey. Some cards. They definitely had a lot of good pieces in here, baseballs. So I was looking at that Raider helmet for my husband. I wanted to see what the prices were. The prices on those other helmets were 250, 250. So I'm assuming that one was too. Let's 
which seems pretty high. I don't know if that was like the going rate on eBay too. And belt buckles. They had a lot of belt buckles in this other booth, and I do really well with belt buckles. And they were each $8 a piece back there. That's a Lincoln log is what it looks like. Play set, and it was $14, but I don't know if it was, it said complete. But in my mind, I don't know how many comes in there, so I left it. And that was $150 for that Santa. Vintage. Toy Story Toys, McDonald's. A metal train probably had some type of candy in it a long time ago. And this says the polar bear glasses and it was a complete set is what it said and the glasses was $25 for the whole set which is too high for me but it's really good if you were buying it for yourself $25 on the old phone it said it was um, used in a library or a, a school Love these green glasses. They're eight dollars a piece, though. And that was eight dollars on the ornament. I'm not sure how much this one was because I couldn't see the tag, but I'm guessing it was a scarf. Eighteen dollars and fifteen on the other two piece. Fifty dollars on this Minnie Mouse Vera Bradley. It does say it's new. $7.50 on the little shoe and I know some shoes do sell well but I'm not sure which ones do better a little luster wear puppy he was so cute $9 and that was 20 for the teacup and the saucer I like this Santa pillow in here. It's $25 for the Santa. And they had Raggedy Ann and Andy, and I don't know if that was the original Raggedy Ann or Andy, or if it was um, a reproduction. $8 on the flounder and $8 on Sebastian. Vintage Christmas magazines. $5 a piece. The Snoopy back there. Ten dollars on that cat in the hat. Thirty-five dollars on the Campbell Soup Boy and thirty-five on the Campbell Soup Girl. So there's some more of those insulators, but that insulator was $5. And on Monday's video, we saw a whole shelf full of insulators, and they were $40 a piece. I don't know what these little yarn doll face are. They're $7.95. I'm not sure what they were used for or just decoration. I don't know. $11 
I like these green glass. It says Tierra glass or Indiana glass. And they were $26.95 for the whole set. Maybe I should have grabbed them. But I feel like that's how much they would be selling for on eBay. So. I like that Miss Piggy mug or um, glass. It was $8 on the glass. It looked like some G.I. Joe um, accessories in there. This was a locked case. I do like that Tony the Tiger and it was $12 for the mug. If it was ever at a Goodwill or, you know, somewhere I could get it cheaper, I would definitely buy that. So they had a case with these vintage Barbies in it. The Hot Wheel. I'm not sure what that was. $10 on the Walmart Barbie. They had good prices, just um, sometimes Barbies don't have very much of a resale value. Unless you can find them for super cheap. Because that Walmart Barbie was going for 12 on eBay. So there's some more belt buckles. Normally when I pick up belt buckles, I pick up the beer. Or I've picked up football ones before. And I do know like other ones can sell really well. But these are all like specific to one area like Kansas. So I do leave these behind. And that one was a Wichita one. And that one says Missouri Pacific Lines on it. A little plush M&M for $3. If my kids are good in this store, I let them get a Hot Wheel at the very end of the store. So that's what they're doing over there, looking through the Hot Wheels. Because this booth has a whole bunch. And this was $2 on the McDonald's toy. Now, I remember having these as a kid. I remember this, the VHS box and the toy. But these boxes were crushed, so I left those behind. And I didn't need a duplicate, so I just got one. $3 on this bear. Maybe I should have grabbed it, but I left it behind. $3 on the matchbox. The train was $4. This was $10. I don't know who this is. A little porcelain doll. I thought it was going to be like a Madame Alexander, but it's not. $3.25 on that cute little shot glass. I mean, it was pretty big for a shot class. $6 on those. They look like ornaments to me or maybe just like little holiday decorations. And some of those were pigs. They were pretty cute. Some more McDonald's toys. They the Country Bear and they were $2 a piece. I do put them in the buggy to do comps, but I don't end up taking them or buying them. And this says gunned on it. They were $40.50 for the pair. 
they were in pretty good condition. I do leave it behind because I did comps on it and and ones that looked similar to that one were going for $60, so I left it behind. And that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.